hello guys welcome to another video uh, today we're going to do some we're going to create a simple calculator using a C sharp Windows form so what we are dealing today is something like this mm, the name of the form is calculator we have three text box first you put the value second value and third value we have to calculate using these buttons for example uh, some values you can use the decimal value also no problem with that so if you click the add button it adds in the output same goes to the minus and division and multiplication okay guys uh, let's go to the coding part uh, open up your visual studio I'm using visual studio 2017 okay yes so create a new file file I mean new project new project uh, click on the visual C sharp over here on your left side and here you can find the Windows form app.net framework so it will be something Windows form maybe if you're using a different version it will just click for the Windows form and you can give a name just go for the default name and click OK so it creates our C sharp form over here okay alright so we have our form here blank so initially first we give a name for our form uh, simply a calculator calculator all right okay so here we design our form which we are going to add few labels so uh, click on your toolbox which will be over here on the left side if you cannot find click on view you can find your toolbox okay here you just uh, drag and drop or double click to put uh, up your label you name all this as value value 1 okay mm, instead of dragging and dropping again you can just copy it and paste it yeah it works same just name it as 2 then you can paste it again which will be value 1 you name it as output okay so it looks fine uh, you can just uh, if it's not very bold we can make it a bit bold so uh, click over here on your property bars on the label example here on below the font there's a plus drop down here you can select the bold to be true so it bolts the label value same goes to the the second the, all the other labels yep so now we add the text box over the toolbox you can find this come to the because it's in alphabetical order so just all right text box one two and three okay just leave it as the default name you can give it a different name if you want so now we add the buttons our calculation buttons which will be okay to add four buttons drag and drop or just copy paste it depends on you okay now here we'll name it something add it can be the words or the symbols doesn't matter depends on it so i'm going to give the plus sign and in the for font i'm going to bold it so it looks very highlighted and here you can change the font size to 12 yeah, it looks better now same thing goes here for the all the other values bold it and the text box we're going to name it as minus I mean subtract uh, it be division so division I'm just going to use the slash uh, the font uh, Okay, 
trail and we we'll make it bold. Yep, the same thing. Trail. Uh, I'm going to give the value as multiplication. I'm just going to click X. All right, so we have our we that we have done our designing part. Let's go to the coding part. Click double click on the plus button. Here we are need to convert the two text boxes into a double value. You can co convert into int value if you are not using any decimals. So I am going to name it as txt, txt1 which equals to convert to double open bracket close bracket. It's going to be our first text box txt. Alright. Semicolon. The same thing double but it's for the second text box okay convert to double this time it's going to be the text box to dot txt all right so we need another double it's going to be sum cause to get the total this sum is going to equals to the in our plus button what we are doing is just adding this and the output is coming over here so we are going to just add this together txt just type your name text plus and again text two. that's all so we need the output which is going to be on the text box 3 dot txt okay it's going to be sum I mean this is our final result and we need to convert to string because on the form it always need to be displayed as string and we open bracket close bracket semicolon then uh, so this is our addition part we go for our subtraction which is button 2 you can just copy paste the whole thing because it's basically all the same code this is just copy paste and instead of this plus we can just put minus okay we go for the next one which is the division the same thing control paste I and mean, control v instead of the plus we're going to put division and the last as the multiplication control paste the same code all over again doesn't affect other buttons instead of, of the addition we are going to put the stuff Yep, that's the multiplication in our coding language. All right, it's done, ready to go. Just test it out. Uh, let it run. So far, I didn't see any error. Okay. All right, it comes out. So we just input some value for 15 plus 19. If you subtract, it's minus 11. Division, it goes to decimal. Multiplication, 60. Alright guys, that's all for the video. Uh, if you enjoy my video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any doubts, leave it in the comment. I will reply to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys.